Well, so in Portsmouth, hundreds of children came together to try to set a new world record for drumming. Whatever the outcome, it was certainly going to be noisy. Sophia yeah, Seth was there. These pupils are gearing up, taking their seats, drums in place. So here they go. To achieve world record success, they need to play their djembe drums for five minutes non-stop and are closely watched by a member of Guinness World Records. Now the children's five minute performance may be over, but they wait here excitedly for the all important result. And while they waited, they were entertained by these professional drummers. I also managed to find out what exactly djembe drums are. Djembe drums are African drums, West African drums. This particular one is from Ghana, so they're made of wooden base with a goat skin top and held on by ropes and strings, and they just make the most fabulous sounds. So the results are in. And they've done it, a 900 djembe drum ensemble, almost doubling the size of the previous record. It's quite surprising that we did win the Guinness World Record. It's, um, it's not, you can't do this like daily, and um, it's just really fun experience seeing it, how it feels to win and things like this. What's it like to play those drums? Well, first of all, it does hurt your hands, and um, I found it really fun. I'm feeling really excited and happy. 17 schools across Portsmouth took part in today's challenge, and from the smiles on their faces, they know they are now the ones to beat. So, be yourself, BBC South Today, Portsmouth. Yes, I just think. Congratulations if you were part of that. Oh, look, she said congratulations oh, no. to you. A world record. Let's stay with music, shall we? And uh, mm. when you're in. So, that so... means you're part of a world record now. I know. So guys, what you just saw there was uh, me on on the news, if you saw that. If you looked at the first part, I 